All right, landed in Denver. I've got a wedding to attend on the 49ers off day and then right back to Santa Clara for Sunday's practice. And just a quick scan of social media shows that people have gone berserk over 49ers quarterback snap divisions. A reminder, we've seen three training camp practices. The pads haven't even come on yet. They're not coming on until practice five on Monday. But I can tell you, you know, besides overreactions to too few training camp practices, we could zoom out and we could look at how the 49ers have been talking about their strategy for this season. And we can go all the way back to the NFC Championship game where they lost all of their quarterbacks. The goal, the overarching goal that both Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch have clearly reiterated several times has been to build a robust quarterback room for 2023 so they don't run into some of those similar issues again and the way that you build a robust quarterback room is a you of course roster a lot of players who are capable of playing the position but b you make sure that you develop them within the context of the system so brandon allen has to get snaps the same people that are upset about brandon allen getting some snaps now would be upset if he played poorly at some point in the regular season or heaven forbid the playoffs plus with more quarterbacks and more quarterbacks playing and getting accustomed to the system and uh, you know just generally getting good exposure you give yourself more option power at the roster cut down deadline but it's too soon to talk about potential trades right now because so much can still happen the 49ers aren't really thinking about that at this moment they're just thinking about giving themselves as many options as possible one thing that i will say though because a lot of the discontent seems to be oh Trey Lance isn't getting enough reps Trey Lance doesn't you know the 49ers don't owe Trey Lance anything 49ers gave this guy a 30 plus million dollar signing bonus what in 2021 sunk costs or sunk costs if Trey Lance is not going to play well if he's going to continue to to butcher some of those short passes and you know if Kyle Shanahan doesn't fully trust him because of that uh he, he's got to give the reps to the quarterbacks that can better develop that room that can better create a, a sense of continuity and success in the quarterback room that can have a higher floor right so you know there's still this mentality that like oh the 49ers invested so much in Trey Lance that he just has to play and they have to try him out in 2023 that was two years ago a lot has happened since then Trey's been hurt twice. It happens in the NFL, unfortunately. But Brock Purdy has surged ahead of him since then, and the 49ers have signed Sam Darnold since then. So if Darnold is outperforming Trey Lance, hell, if Brandon Allen outperforms Trey Lance, they deserve more reps. It's a meritocracy in the National Football League. And I'm not saying that those guys are going to outperform Trey Lance over the long run. I'm just saying that, that nobody just deserves a handout in the NFL, especially for draft capital that was spent two years ago.